Hey guys, it's Holly. So today I wanted to show you all my current sort of state of my Slytherin and Ravenclaw common room marks. Now, a couple of weeks ago, I was working on a Gryffindor and Hufflepuff one. And for the most part, I feel like they're pretty much complete. Like there wasn't too much that I really wanted to do with them. And then afterwards, I really wanted to try and make Slytherin and Ravenclaw and using and gutting out sort of the Chamber of Secrets section of the Chamber of Secrets set, I've managed to get a really good start on Slytherin. Slytherin. And then just because I thought I would show you sort of the state of the Ravenclaw common room right now, which is all placed in a hollowed out and sort of modified version of the girls bathroom set. So currently Ravenclaw has got barely any progress. I've honestly found it the hardest to do. I don't know. Ravenclaw, I feel like just doesn't have too many characteristics. I feel like besides wisdom and sort of intellect. And I just, I don't really want to cover the entire common room with books per se. I would really like to do a couch as well. I feel like that would be quite cool. So I'd really like to revisit the Ravenclaw common room someday, but for now, I really want to focus on Slytherin. So as I pop all of the bits off, you'll be able to see that I've literally just taken that bottom section of the Chamber of Secrets set. Now the Chamber of Secrets to me didn't really feel like a chamber. It felt very hollow and empty, and I feel like there was just so much more that could have been done. There honestly wasn't too much that I've changed from the exterior. I've sort of cleaned up this middle section since I had to get rid of that entire center bit. I've also actually attached the rock to the build this time and sort of added a plate at the bottom here. But besides that, this outside section hasn't really changed. What has, however, is the interior here. Now, originally, I wasn't too sure if I actually wanted to build the Slytherin common room where the Chamber of Secrets was, and that's mainly just because this is a sort of three wide. I, I always feel like this castle section is divided into three sections. You've got the ones that are sort of just this like eight by eight section, then you've got the two that are 16 by eight, and then you've got this ultra long sort of three wide one. But I just looked at my sets and I was like, you know what, I'm really not using these for anything. And this has already got that sort of dungeon brick built rocky texture. I feel like it's the perfect model. However, it does mean that there is like a bit more sort of structure on the front end of things in order to support the weight of the models on the top. I really didn't want to have anything in the middle, so I kept these two front pillars in, which I feel like just really divide up the room. So if I take out all of the little sig figs, you can get a better gist of the room. Now there's definitely pieces still missing. It's definitely not complete, but I feel like I've done a really good job at at least getting a kick start. So now that I've sort of put everything back into place, I want to show you. Now the right hand side is really empty at the moment. I really want to add more things here. I'm thinking maybe a couch or something like that. I really don't want to add too many cauldrons because I feel like this is the common room, not really a potions room. I don't really want to focus on there, but I feel like this middle section and the left are looking really, really good. If I rip out this archway, you can get a sort of a better look at everything on the inside. So firstly, inside one of the rocks, I've propped up this little like skeleton inside a crystal ball. I've chucked a jumper plate on the bottom there just so he can sort of be raised up and really sit inside this rock formation piece back here. I've also added some clip pieces to this back corner because there's just these awkward gaps. So I've added that to sort of give it a torch since we are in the dungeons. It is quite dark. And then to top it off, I've added a dark green cheese slope just to blend in with sort of the Slytherin color scheme since you can see this from the interior. On each side, I've added those little snake things that were in the chamber. Chamber of Secrets. I took them both off the base and then adjusted the snake's head to sort of face inward. I really like these pieces from Ninjago. I think they look spectacular and I really wanted to try and utilize them, but I found it quite hard to actually get it to fit in. And admittedly, if there was a student sat there, I feel like it would be quite intimidating sort of looking at that snake across the hall from you. But at the same time, I feel like it matched pretty well. And that way I can have a snake on either side of the room. Now, because the chamber has these weird great things, there isn't that many studs compared to all of the other common rooms that I've done. So in order to sort of make this work for me, I guess, is I've sort of put this table here right on the center. Now, in order to do this, I've stuck a little stud on the bottom and then attached it in between the four studs there. So the table just sort of floats on there. It looks really clean because of the giant dish piece. And I'm pretty sure this is just the base off one of those advent calendar flags in order to do that. And then I've got a round four by four 
piece on the top here as well as a little pot for a quill. I just imagine this student sort of writing a letter, writing on some parchment, maybe doing his homework. And then as you can see, I've just done a really basic chair there and stuck it on and sort of left it over that grate just so that it doesn't take up as many of the available studs as I want. That way I can use those studs for other things and I sort of utilize all of this empty space almost. Now the only other change on this left side is that I got rid of that little front section where the great hall sits. So in order to do that, I took out the slope pieces and swapped it with some of the light bluish gray masonry bricks that I have a ton of. I just feel like it adds a bit of texture to this set and then the color scheme matches quite nicely. And I've done the same on the opposite side, but when I placed these ones, one of them was backwards and I was thinking about changing it, but honestly, I quite like having sort of like an alternating one. I think it looks really cool. Now if you zoom in at the top as well in this back corner, on this little inverted slope piece there is a modified stud with a green cheese slope on the top and my whole plan for this is to put some of those like snake pieces in the wall. I've managed to do it on the right hand side but I haven't been able to find the other one of these snakes that I had bought quite a while ago so I'm planning to have both of these sort of hanging from the ceiling and I really feel like this is the perfect accessory for the Slytherin common room and I would love to try and add maybe one or two more somewhere but I really don't know how I'm going to be able to do that in the space that I have for this. Now heading into the center is where we have the biggest change because this entire thing was the chamber's face and I'm really happy with how this has turned out so far. Firstly, one of the things I did was swap out one of the bricks at the back here to have a modified stud and this has got studs on the front and back which is how I managed to add that dark bluish gray slope. And then I've added this stickered Slytherin tile that I got in the 2010 Hogwarts just to sort of give it some house branding and sort of tie it in a bit more because I really wanted to try and have a lot of green Green, ideally dark green, but I don't have too much of it, so the bright green will do for now. At the back of this section, again, I really wanted to utilize some of the rock face, so I've sort of turned it into a fireplace. So this entire fireplace is basically just one brick wide, like it's really not that big. It's more of a facade, and then on the inside is where I've actually got the fire. It all sort of connects leading into this green carpet, which is actually how I've attached these plates in the middle here, because I didn't have one that was big enough to fit that entire area. So this is actually a a 1x8, a 4x8, and a 2x8, and then on the bottom here I've got some 1x4s just because I didn't have enough pieces and just sort of really tried to make it as secure as possible by having this sort of rug here and sort of connecting everything as well as these bricks here, all tying it in and then sort of just hiding that empty rock face to blend it in a bit better by having a sort of fireplace, building it into the wall. And I'm really proud of how that turned out. I just need to get another one of those silver pieces at the top here to really top off the fireplace. And just because I had the pieces lying around from the Chamber of Secrets set and to add in some more green, I added those transparent green bricks there. Now, currently I also have this little table with another glass jar stat here, which again is to try and connect those plates more. And then lastly on the center, I've incorporated some studs. So that way I can make a sort of little coffee table. And I've just stuck a clear goblet as well as this silver plate on there, which I ideally would like to cover in some food, whether that be some croissants or turkey legs or cherries. I would like to decorate that. Then lastly on the left hand side there really isn't anything special at the moment I've got another one of those torches and then just a little sort of shelf full of potions bottles which that build pretty much comes from the potions Hogwarts moments book there's really nothing special about that which I took out of that like one one-off potions room mock that I made and I've just sort of stuck that again in that gap I really want to utilize that space but here I'm not too sure what I want to do I was thinking about trying to make another couch again so that there's sort of a couch in each house dormitory but I don't really have any dark green pieces or even regular green pieces to make them so I just haven't gotten around to that yet besides that I really don't know what to do so if anyone's got ideas of what to put here please let me know but otherwise, that is everything for the Slytherin common room. And something that is a lot more bare is my Ravenclaw common room. I really haven't done an awful lot with this, nor do I have many ideas. Now, in order to make this, I hollowed out the bathroom set. It was pretty easy to do. I feel like there wasn't too many changes. I sort of had just had to get rid of a lot of the plates. I also filled in this entire wall here, similarly to the one I did for Hufflepuff. However, it's the opposite wall this time around. And then 
then I had a spare bookcase left over from the sort of student accessory packs. So I've stuck that there because, you know, Ravenclaw's intellectual often be found in the libraries. I feel like it was just fitting, but that's really all I've got for Ravenclaw. I've sort of left myself a modified stud on the wall to maybe stick something to. I've also planned on doing a rug, but currently do not have enough dark blue pieces, nor just blue pieces in general. And I'm just, I feel really stumped. Again, I feel like making another couch build or maybe having a desk or some sort of table or shelves. But besides that, I really don't have many ideas for the Ravenclaw classroom. I can't think of what would work. Some curtains, I guess, would be cool here, but I feel like I'd have to sort of rejig and remodel this sort of top section of the build. But yeah, those are the common room builds for now. I'm really excited to finish both of these up and add them next to Hufflepuff and Gryffindor. I feel like Slytherin is definitely going to be a bit out of place considering it's quite a lot longer than all of the other ones. But I feel like I'll be able to make it work, so we're all good. But let me know what you guys think of these mocks. And like I said before, if you have any ideas or suggestions, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to read them. I'd love to see what you guys think. And if you enjoyed this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't check out the Gryffindor and Hufflepuff common rooms, I will leave them linked at the end of this video as well. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you later.